Oh. Yep. Yeah. That's a pike. That's got to be a pike. That's definitely a pike. Go on. Enjoy it. Nice. Can't move it, but nice. <laughs> We just get us my net. Yeah, yeah. That That's definitely a bike. That that I can't even move it. <laughs> what to defend in your rod? You got one. You know what's going to happen, though? It? It's going to be like two pound. <laughs> the it tiny little thing. <laughs> it might, it could be a purse. If this is a purse, I'll jump it with an kill out. Four pound braid line, but yeah. <laughs> it's smashing them, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good shout coming here. Yeah. Do you find it probably, do you know what it's probably done? It's probably swiped at it. Oh yeah, it's gone. It's probably. Oh, it is. <laughs> there it is. That's been feeding a lot. Yep. Well, yeah. Sorry, mate. Oh, lad. That's been feeding, man. Yep. That's Look at that. It's a chunk. That's a chunk. It's solid, isn't it? Couldn't tell how big that was. Right guys, so I've just arrived. No, I'm joking. Uh, so I set up earlier and completely forgot, and I've just cast right in front of you. I completely forgot in the mad rush and excitement of setting up last night. I'll show you what I did. I didn't put the line through the line roller, which is quite an obvious mistake, but a mistake that I didn't spot after a probably an hour's fishing uh, I also I've lost a few fish uh, and realised that the jig head I was using was an old one with a hook point turned over so it's going really well this morning but today we are joined by Sergeant Esox over there showing us how it's done but no, we've not had any fish so far. Um, like I say, I've lost two. And we've had plenty of plucks and bangs. Uh, BFS set up. Dark Wolf Ultra. Uh, LMAB Mystique Rod, which is 2 to 10 gram. And I'll just bring the rig in. Four pound braid. I can't remember off the top of my head what fluorocarbon I'm on. And the bait. Uh, the lure, sorry, is a Z-Man Finesse Ticklers. Ideally, it wants to be fished on a, a Z-Man Finesse Shrooms head, but I forgot to order some, so we're just on a little two gram jig head. And now, we're gonna be fishing properly. So I've been fishing an hour without the line going through the bloody line roll. <laughs> Typical. So we're just going to see how it goes now. Second time we're doing the intro. And all the clips that I did have, I've just deleted because, well, I just look stupid really, didn't I? Can't believe it. it's the excitement of fishing, that's what it does to you. Oh, there's a pluck. Morning, you alright? Good thing about this boatyard is the guys over there where they do boat repairs and things they're actually really friendly to anglers so 
many a times, you know, we've cast on and caught a rope on the boat and every time they're more than happy to unlock it and put it back in the water for you. So it's always nice. I'm fishing really slow today. Just point the camera down a little bit for me. Really slow. It's really really cold. Got my old gloves on. And all the knocks and bangs I've had have been on the paws. So I've been doing quite long pauses. Trying to entice them to take take a bite, which they are taking, I'm just not hooking up at the minute. But here, me and Mr. Sergeant Aesox over there know feeding time is not until about nine o'clock. So we got here at half past six this morning. <laughs> but we're too dark to fish. Definitely too dark for the cameras. So we sat down, discussed tactics, and um, had a coffee. I'm just gonna scare these off, because as we all know, as anglers, we do not want these here. Come, disappear. <coughs> Luckily they only take small fish, but still. Not ideal when you're fishing. So obviously you've seen the few clips at the beginning of the video. Uh, the two pike. Second pike were a beautiful pike. Actually, I don't know if I put that second or first. <laughs> they were in this location, so we are at the location last. And that la that pike was caught last Saturday, so a week ago. That's the only fish we had. But as you could see, all the bait fish were just blowing up on the top, so the pike were obviously on the feed. The perch were just nowhere to be seen, they just got bullied out of the area, I think. So, the rain has arrived, which was not on the weather forecast. So hopefully it's just a passing shower. But, we're going to stick it out. So there we go. I'm hoping you can see that rod tip. Just keep your eye on that rod tip. That noise in the background, it is a... Oh. No! <laughs> yep. Another one not hooked up. Uh, yeah, they do boat repairs here, so there is a few knocks and bangs about. So apologies about that. Yep, yep. It could be a pike. That's oh, perch. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was a jack. Right, it worked doing. It worked doing the normal perch head bangs. Right, get it on the grass. Just giving it a bath, cleaning it up. That, I'm definitely not going to grumble at. It's a nice perch. With a first fish. Sergeant Aesox, the cameraman. Taking some good photos as usual. Let's get them. That's what happens when you have a sharp hook. <laughs> 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 Boat go past. Joys a canal fishing. But boat has have just as right to use a canal as we do. So I don't have a problem with boats going past. A lot of people get a bit irate about it. But they pay to use it just like we do. And sometimes it can switch the fish on, can't it? Boat yeah, coming yeah, through. Yeah, Especially fake fish, get them feeding off the gentleman. Yeah. 
So we'll let this boat go through, have a drink, leave it for a couple of minutes, and then we'll be back in the water. If you look at the water now, that might have just killed this session. One boat, not bad. Two boats, problem is with a proper canal barge, they just can't help but to stir it up. Now obviously, we have stayed in one spot today. Um, a few reasons well not much time to fish for a start which is one of the main reasons but again we know there's, we know there's fishing just getting them to feed Right guys, location number two. Let's see if it produces all. Oh, it's deep here as well, isn't it? Yeah. It's one of the deepest parts. But with it being deep, you've got to give it a chance to sink. Who recognises this place? <laughs> Back at spot number one. Uh, previous spot was extremely windy no bait fish showing anywhere so we did a little bit and thought let's head back boats have gone you know they've settled down and what have you so I think we've got a good chance here and we are Fox Rage Micro Spiky Fry I think it's called Three gram jig head just because that's these come loaded and that's what it comes with. Yeah. I think it's a perk. Okay. Is that a skimmer? <laughs> that could have been a skimmer. <laughs> it could have been. Could be a pie. That's a pie, I think. Oh, it's a skimmer. It's a foul up oh, skimmer. Is it a player? Is it a player? Yeah. 
Yep. Yep. That could be a perch. I think it is a perch. <laughs> Please be a perch. I feel a lot. Please be recording. Are you talking a lot? <laughs> I am genuinely believing that all these knocks and bangs are I skimmers. Think they were. I think they're skimmers. How is this possible? Nice little snotter. <laughs> Not intended. 